I hear you out there. So the floor has been interesting. These boards again were unseasoned and I continue to use them throughout the cabin um, despite the fact that some of them I had just cut down earlier that year and others I had bought from the same mill and they were um, well basically just cut and milled and then I bought them. There's the door slamming shut. Uh, so what I did, what I was thinking of doing when I put these in was I would just lay them in place on top of the floor framing and let them shrink in place for like a year or so and maybe less with the heat of the fire going and then once they finish shrinking I would use a wedge on the edges and sort of force it all in and then cut a strip and fill it in on the outside. Two problems with that one is that when you don't fasten unseasoned wood or you don't weight it down it starts cupping and twisting a lot of times it's the twist that's that's a major issue so that started happening, corners of like the ends of the board started coming up and it was a tripping hazard. And then of course the gaps were filling in or were widening, but I needed to get things built like the kitchen, the box there, that bench especially. And I needed to get a table in here and start using the space. So it wasn't, <laughs> I couldn't build those things permanently in place and then still move the floor. So I ended up just nailing it down at that point after it started cupping and even using spiral nails. I didn't have um, screws at the time and I just could not get those boards down and get, to get them flush and get them to stay that way. So I still have little edges and stuff in, in places. Um, and then the, because I had to fasten it down, the boards continued to shrink. So I did get these gaps and they were bad enough in some places. I think back in here, especially, I think the mice were actually getting in through there. So I ended up, filling that with you can't try different things uh clay daub and um like cob mixture but then ended up just getting some acrylic caulking actually and caulking these joints and that's actually held up really well um then i let the dirt kind of collect in there though uh, the caulking well it was um, still da damp um, so that embedded it and made it look a little bit prettier than just acrylic caulking but that's um, worked fairly well. The char on the floor is still working well. It still kind of hides the dirt, <laughs> which just seems to be necessary. But yeah, definitely something I wouldn't do again. I'd try to use seasoned boards. You know, ideally, uh, tongue and groove, if I can figure out how to make decent uh, tongue and groove without power tools or uh, even a shiplap of some kind. And then of course, you know, dry, drying the boards out first if I can would be ideal. Um, we'll see if I'm able to Get enough boards milled because the ne next cabin I'm building from completely from the trees from my own land, so I need to get the uh, wood 
cut and dried this winter and maybe make a solar kiln or something to get it get them dry before I need to install them. And speaking of that, the issue with this door, as I mentioned in the previous episode, um, the board separated and started cupping a little bit. This was the uh, front door originally. Took it off, put it aside, ended up in the next video making, next video that you're going to see in this series, making this door, or making this table from that door. But I'll show you the problem with that in the next video. Um, if you're enjoying this series and you want to watch the entire series, then you can click on the playlist in the top left hand side of your screen. And if you want to watch the next video in this series, then uh, click on the video on the bottom left hand side of your screen. And if you want to subscribe, you can click on the icon on the bottom right hand side of your screen. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you at the cabin again next time. Take care.